Hello everybody, I just wanted to take this quick second in the intro where we normally do a funny cold open to remind you guys that we currently have a Blood in the Bayou t-shirt available right now on jrwishow.com. This is super exclusive and it's only available for one more week. And after that, it's gone forever. And not to mention, this is probably the only Blood in the Bayou merch we're ever going to make. So go grab it now at jrwishow.com before it's gone for good. Again, this is only around for one more week after this episode airs. So get it now. Enjoy the episode. Where we last left off. The three captains of the Ripside Pirates opened a chest left by the Black Rose Pirates, bonded with mutual friends the Yeti Pirates, and then officiated a wedding between new friends, Star and Zamia, before teleporting them and all the survivors of Onawa country to safety in Canela. And so the journey continues. We slowly drop down from dark clouds, swivel around the enormous ice mountain, following wilted petals from the great tree that passed. We blow over the landscape of this island, down its center river past each port, and far across the sea until Onawa is but a silhouette on the horizon. The air today is thick. On your first day of travel, You'd never expect the bitter chills of the Black Sea could feel so congested. A small light may have been created and enjoyed within the walls of Onawa's capital palace, but the surrounding darkness that the Albatross splits through is nothing if not suffocating. The consequences of your chosen paths and all that is yet to come, both weigh heavy like an anchor to the day as your journey slogs on. Some of your crew is just paddling away. Basically, uh, Griffin and... Uh, it's Griffin. It's just going really slow. <laughs> just, just Griffin. <laughs> say, Rest uh, of us are just moping. It's a sad day. Probably anyone that wants to help, bro, but that's what's moving the boat right now. I just think it'd be really funny if, if, if fucking Griffin was running from, like, port side to starboard <laughs> side. And, like, rowing one side on each. <laughs> just so unbalanced, yeah. It's like we're just zigzagging across. Still compensating for all the L's in the past. I'm gonna take Igneous over to... Dre first. Say Dre is using one leg, like hooking the paddle with his uh, inside of his ankle and then doing it with the outside of his heel and just kind of like going back and forth, helping Ro. Hey Dre, how's it going there? Like you're working yeah. hard. Mm, someone's got to get us moving. Yeah, and you're Who's sure the new, uh, doing recruit? that. Oh, this is, uh, this is Igneous. Yo, how are you going? Um, wait. A minute. <laughs> hey, Igneous, this is, uh, you know, it's just... No fucking way, I know who he is. He's just Dre Farron, or, you know, the Black Rose Pirates or whatever, right? You know, <laughs> this is him. When were you gonna fucking mention that you had someone from the Black Rose Pirates on your ship? Oh, yeah, that? No big deal, buddy. We've actually got two of them right now. Where, where were <laughs> you when we were fighting that crazy fucking spider lady? No, 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 Black Rose Pirates all in the past, you know, kind of gone and retired. I'm, uh, I'm more of like a consultant now for these guys. He's actually been our accountant of late. Yeah, and he's really good at keeping up with the finances, too. Yeah. Right, Dre? What's our, what's our stock looking at right now? How's, how's it looking? I mean... <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> Just looks over to, like, the pile of, uh, 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 treasure and some items that you guys hauled from, uh... This island is sitting in kind of like in a corner of the deck. Where's Gillian right now? Is he near <laughs> it? I'm helping row, but you notice each time I switch sides, I get a little closer <laughs> to the pile. <laughs> As our accountant, his only job is to keep Gillian from throwing the treasure in the ocean. Griffin also helps with that. He's a really good accountant, actually. It really takes us all, actually. It's a shared responsibility. Mostly, I just keep an eye on the old men. Speaking of old men, and you know, Igneous, your first day here on the crew, how about you take over my spot here and row the ship? Uh, and then he sort of uh, stands up and kind of, so he's going to interrupt your introductions and then move you over a second into like away from your shot. Speaking of old men, Chip. Earl's kind of losing his mind and um, Finn isn't doing so hot. Losing your minds is in, you know, corruption. Kind of seems like it, huh? 
Uh, Took, ha- um, any any black ooze coming from the cough? No, I don't think it's that far. But the ocean's changing, huh? He just gets more obsessive about the fucking fruit. Like, he kept trying to jump <laughs> off the ship and get mushrooms from this fucking forest. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be You good. know, like that. But he he's, he's he, a little self-destructive. I don't know if you want to break it to Gillian, but it's, uh, he's just getting old. I think, I don't know if it's the corruption. We've we've kept them down on the bottom deck, so. If they're not coughing up black ooze, we've got some time. And Finn? No, it should just be rustling. You know, not sure what's going on with him, but... I'll check in with him, and maybe we can find Earl this fruit, and he'll relax a little bit. Everything else was all right otherwise, though? No problems watching over the ship? Uh, we're still alive, aren't we? So <laughs> much confidence you inspire, man. <laughs> uh, just to let you in, um, we ran into some problems over there. You're still alive, aren't you? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> but, like, mostly. Like, kind of. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're standing right here, kid. Slowly reach my hand up to the uh, bandana, and I pull it down, and he can see What the shit? <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit back. <laughs> like, he's, like, like, immediately puts it back on. Yeah, uh, not uh, much of a looker anymore. What happened? I was just a boy who had his heart stolen by a girl. And it's, like, still in her stomach. Over there. Fuck. Look, I, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm still moving around. Still fighting. That's all that matters, right? No, you're not all right. Jim, we got to get out of here. Teleport away. No. Come back for Arlen later. It's... We have to find him now. What do you think he's going to think when he sees you in your skeleton? Do you think that really matters? I can't imagine the guilt it might put on him. Is that really what you want to look like when we find them? I'm... Captain Hendricks. You know him? Talked about him a little bit with Jane. He's the only one of the pirate lords still kicking around, and he's been... messing with us. I don't know if what he said was true, but... He told me Arlen was... suffering. So if I gotta suffer too, just a little bit, I will. It's no big deal, and once we have him, maybe he'll have an answer. You know? Or maybe it doesn't matter. Like, I'm standing here. Hasn't been too bad. Look, I'll be fine. I just wanted to let you know. So if I flaked any skin off you, on you, uh, you wouldn't have too many questions. That's so gross. Are you shedding? Oh, I'm shedding. Oh, I'm shedding. No! He, uh, looks down at the ground for a minute. Kind of like, uh, tongue in cheek. Looks back up at you. Hi, right, big man. But if you you see Hendrix, you call me. Don't keep it to yourselves anymore. Gotcha. Big man. <laughs> you called? <laughs> 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 Just a material line. Yes, uh Gillian. I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna sit with Finn. Yeah, Gillian, actually, uh You guys spooky. I think we What? <laughs> what? We're gonna let that slide for right now, but we're we'll talk about it later. It was on one of the darkest tomes in the castle. Was it in that book that you found? <laughs> yeah, it was. Grandpa? It was. Oh no! You've been reading it? No, I I, I I opened it. I opened it. The first two words are "Hey Pookie," and I closed it. <laughs> wow, that threw me off guard. Okay, uh, oh, we gotta go check on your grandfather. Yeah, what well, is something? I look- is everything okay? Everything, everything's fine, right, Dre? Everything's okay. Just wanna make sure he's doing okay. I think a familiar face will do the trick. I do worry. Um, since we've been away for as long as we have. What does Dre look like? Does he look like everything's okay? Inside trick. That's gonna go ahead and be a ten, middle of the road. Dre usually looks pretty laid back, carefree. Uh, he didn't just get like the craziest news from Chip, and he's a little conflicted. He can tell he's conflicted. Um, so he's not like looking happy or anything like normal he can't really look you in the eye which is not normal for jay dre yeah i keep trying to like like fall where are you going <laughs> uh, i'll meet you down there <laughs> all right all right you've got me worried now let's go check uh, nothing to be too worried about it should be fine and we'll we'll Sp- go down sprint downstairs all together now <laughs> good people you guys uh head down 
into your, your bottom deck and uh, you see just kind of like sitting up in the tub that you got for him uh, is your, your grandpa. He looks like he's just resting. He's got his eyes closed. He still has like a pretty um, weak grin on his face. And uh, when you guys start making noise, he like squints open a little bit. Um, eye wide eye. Catches you all coming down. Sorry for waking you up, Grandpa. We just wanted to check in. Everything okay down here? You look dry. Gives a uh, big smile, but you notice that like he um, by the day since you found him has just uh, age, just been aging. Like he's slowly getting older and older. And as Gillian's like talking to uh, Finn, I want to look over to Jay and just kind of give that look of like, not good, some shit. Just with looks, I feel like we can communicate this kind of shit to each other. I feel like yeah. just like it's been long enough. Not <laughs> nod to Gillian. Like if someone's gonna console this motherfucker, it's you. So like, <laughs> and I look. I'm like me. You want you? And I go. I point to me, and I take off the bandana, and I look <laughs> horrific for half a second. I put it back on. My grandpa thinks it's death and gives up. Okay, I shrug and <laughs> get ready. I suppose slowly uh, reaches his hand up out of the water and kind of pulls you down to your knees, Gil. Reaching for your like here, the side of your face. Hey, what's Still going a big, on? Goofy smile. I just want to see how like the uh, why is, do I forget what it's called? Uh, corruption is is progression with him. Like if he's okay. Uh, yeah. I'll say you can do a medicine check. Let's see. Natural twenty. Oh my god, we're so back, dude. <laughs> First roll of the day. We're so back. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna get a Lacroix to celebrate. Don't ruin my accomplishment. <laughs> Chip, why is this water? Why is this water bubbly? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no. If you were trying to sense corruption or just get a glimpse of it, Finn looks mostly untouched. I mean, he's been pretty secure down here. The most protected from the elements, especially in this like only batch of fresh water in this entire ocean uh here in the bath looks like dre has at least three now like he's been hit uh and just from what you recollect uh when you first got on your ship obviously earl has uh quite a bit of yeah. corruption assumably over four and then griffin and queen are still sitting pretty around three uh medicinally chip is totally dead uh, um it looks like finn is uh aging yeah that's pretty much it. Aging. Um, yeah. Whether the effects of the Black Sea are kind of making the effects of the aging process harder on him? Eh, yeah. Yeah, you can kind of get that. Just the air here. You know, it's it's, it's rough on his uh, yeah. system. Do that white person thing where, like, you, you suck in one of your cheeks. You know? <laughs> just, like, concern, basically. Uh, yeah, so he pulls you down, Gil, and he just sort of looking at you and he goes... Burr. Just lets out a noise. <laughs> um, it's like, this is my grandfather dying of old age, and I'm sorry, it's like not funny. Okay. It doesn't look like he's going to pass right now, but yeah, he's just <laughs> aging. <laughs> Grandpa, do, do you need anything? I found this, um, I think this was yours. Um, it was left in a chest, um, where legacy things, uh, were, and, um, I guess that means you would want it to be remembered, so maybe it would help you remember. Um, and I take out the... I rummage past the book, uh, and I take out, uh, the, the library card. Actually, I'll give them both back. I'll give, I'll give both to him and see if it jogs anything for him. When you start pulling this up out, he, like, eye, eyebrows raised up, eyes get wide. He starts to, like push himself up very, very slowly and shakily as you start to pull him out. You hand the book to him first. He looks at it, throws it, like, just, like, fucking throws it. He, like, stares at it for three seconds and then throws it away. <laughs> I understand. Uh, and he's looking at the library card. He sees your face on it. Um, looks at you and his eyes start to, like, water a little bit. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why it did that. If it, we we could try and and, and change it uh, or, or, or reset it somehow, I... Didn't mean to, to take it. Shakes his head and then just kind of like hands it back to you. And then Dre goes, oh, you had forgotten about that. What, are, what else did you find? Look at the corner uh, with the book. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I forgot I can't lie. It's a book written by my grandfather called Dark Puckered Hole. And I think... I think I know what it's about. But uh, yeah, I, I, if this you can you can give that a light read if you want. Um... And then these two found found things as well. Yeah, I found a uh, dig through like my my backpack or whatever. Uh, 
this, this old thing. Oh, and I pull out the, the heirloom pistol. Oh, hey! Yeah! Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, that's all coming back to me. Kind of. Yeah, and also, um, a letter, you'll love this, a letter from my father to you, um, where he says, You piece of shit runt, dad should have disowned you 17 years ago when you were born. Yeah, that sounds like something I'd leave behind. He, like, walks up, picks up the book, and then he starts laughing. He goes, Finn, you son of a bitch! Gillian looks at Chip and does the face white people do. <laughs> <laughs> I do it back. I do it, too, just because I want to feel included. Uh, Dre just pockets the book and goes, You know what, finders keepers? Thank you. Ah, it's been so long, but Rose, this was Rose's idea, and I, uh, yeah, it's a special weapon. Huh. It fits you. No idea what it does besides shoot things, but I mean, that's really all I'd ever need. Uh, but I'll take a look at it later. It doesn't do anything. What? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it shouldn't. It's a regular old family heirloom. Well, that can't be right. <laughs> it's the user that makes the magic. Oh. Jay, shoot me! Okay. <laughs> actually. actually, you have to. I don't know, man. You like made a full pulling back the hammer and you pulling the trigger to. and gunshots out. You can't take that back. We're playing an imagination game and you went, Poof. you shot a gun. <laughs> I imagined you shot me. Roll to hit uh, next to yeah. uh, Finn, yeah. who is. No, 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 I'll no, actually, no, I'll no, genuinely, no, no. I will restart my recording if you shoot my fucking guy, Grandpa. <laughs> okay, I got, a, I got a 30 to hit. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do I it. I haven't, I haven't loaded it. I'm, it's like unless it was. No, well, this is a good. This is a good way to find out, right? So yeah, is it? Wait, is it loaded, Grizzly? Like, no, I like haven't... any magical effects is not going to happen unless you're yeah. to it. You're just going to shoot a regular gun. So shoot <laughs> oh, but like, is there even a bullet in it? You know, because like it has the loading property. Don't fucking tease me, dude. There's a fucking bullet in if there. If there's no bullet in it, then it like misfires or fires a blank, and it just it fucking it's really loud. I don't it know. Just yeah, right. Just doesn't fire anything. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put a bullet in there. Told you it didn't do it <laughs> <laughs> Super loud, it rings out. Uh, Finn preemptively covered his ears. I just, like, forgot that you had to load these things. Like, I have the... Holy shit, maybe it is. It was going so fast, I didn't even feel it. <laughs> you hear him start you... to, like, make noises. Oh, and, uh... yes, 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 go ahead and be <laughs> He takes his finger and he, like, he points, uh, and he presses the card that you're holding and he kind of, like, points at it and taps it. Bruh. <laughs> Book. My book. If this is a card. And then he like makes a swiping motion. Book. Okay. No, this is a card, Grandpa. I think he's trying to tell you like, swipe the card in the book. Okay. Okay. I take the I take the card and I swipe it. I go, book. He's gonna shake his head and then um, he'll like. Ask you to hold your palm out with the card on it and then put his hand on your hand, uh, sort of like making gestures. Uh, and then for a moment, just sort of ho like holds it here and then looks at you with like really wide eyes and a like a goofy grin. <laughs> Book. He's like nodding, raising his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. just watching this. It's got like five minutes go by. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, he's doing that. I like look around. I'm like nodding and like smiling at people. Yeah. <laughs> Book! I do the white people thing. <laughs> and then there's like the soft hum between your hands, and you feel the uh, magic of the card kind of illuminate, and yourself as attuned to it. Essentially, as soon as you feel that attunement, as uh, Finn helps you attune faster and basically passes it on officially, um, you feel that in any crevice at all, you can swipe this card. Um, and it, if it, it will, its effects will permeate. I, I <laughs> look around for a crevice. Dude, yeah, you're on a ship. There's tons of like crevices between wood planks and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, it's weird. It's like I immediately know what it does. Wow. As long, um, let's see. Crevice, crevice. Okay. Walk over to Chip, put it between his lips and go zoop. <laughs> 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 Chip doesn't have any lips because he's a skeleton. You do that, and a smear of like black, like dr kind of dried oh! blood covers it, and you get like skin all up oh, on it. Yo, like, like I, dude, I was just playing. There's like I a chunk playing. of lip comes off with it. No, oh, no, no, no. Okay, you get the sense that it. Uh, uh, it <laughs> the, the, fuck, like, the crevice has to fit a uh, doorway. <laughs> 
So, like, it, like, fizzles. You want to put a card in my lips, motherfucker? Let's do this. It's so <laughs> gross. I guess I, like... I, I don't know. I, I think it's like a worm on the deck wiggling around and I step on it. Don't realize it's like Chip's lip, I guess. Um, it just <laughs> falling off his face. Ew. Okay. Ooh, worm. Um, I go over to, um, I guess one of the planks of wood, um, and, uh, swipe it, uh, just kind of straight down and go, book! <laughs> this fucking door just... Uh, 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 almost like a gateway, it just sparks up into existence from the floor. I guess that would have been bad if I, if I did that to your face. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of just emerges into this, uh, from this bl bluish, uh, bright light, uh, and then as the light sort of, like, dims and fades, you just see there's, like, a door with a simple shell decorated handle that you can open and walk into, right here, created onto the wall of the ship. Can I take Grand Peepaw with me? Grand Peepaw is already, like, struggling to stand up, and Dre just sort of, like, helps him up. Yeah, I want, I want, I want to help him, I want to help him through. Well, you guys, uh, want to check this out? Sure, why not? Yeah! This is the coolest shit you've ever seen, a door <laughs> fucking magic, yeah, that's just awesome! I just, you know, I figured I'd ask, maybe you guys want to stay here in the Dark, dark story. No, no, it's okay. I'm just like, I'm super actually interested in this like disgusting black sea. Like, I don't, I definitely don't want to go in the cool magic door. Okay, cool. I leave. That's fair. I go. You, yeah, you open <laughs> it up. More of this blue light sort of peeks through, and you can see that it's just in this like space, almost like you're walking into an ocean. But you can't see what's behind it until you like step into it. Who are you all going? Yeah, absolutely. No, no doubt. Oh, yo. I want to take Grandpa with me to the magic tree house. <laughs> all of you step through, and you find yourselves, each of you, floating under water, but still breathing. Oh, I think we're um, immediately drowned. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody can breathe, but you're still floating under water. You're not standing on anything. You're basically swimming. Uh, in this deep uh, sea, but you are surrounded by an immense and magnificent library with floor-to-ceiling bookshelves and countless scattered piles of bound volumes. There's these bubbles that glow golden and float around with the uh, with some white uh, light glass bubbles mounted to corners and the ceilings. Uh, there's these massive beautifully decorated windows uh, with an underwater ocean view that seems to be like this blend between all the colors of every ocean in the world uh, that kind of fade between each other before sp fading into this like sparkling infinity the the more you look out. The ocean colors that are sort of changing bounce off this rich and, and dark wood of the interior uh, of this library creating the same alternating ambient light within. As, as wondrous and disorganized this place looks you also see tiny like axolotls wearing uh, a different like a variety between like bow ties and or scholarly hats and the like and they're just like zipping around and some of them are just kind of like floating uh one of them just sort of like floats into all of your views at the same time and goes hello <laughs> <laughs> and then just like spins around very slow welcome to the tide strider library emporium <sighs> <gasps> book! What? Oh, grand people, Books. this is incredible! My book. <laughs> he says. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's more than one here. There's a lot of... But where do we even start? You notice, uh, when you look over at the fan, inside this interior, not only is he able to, like, swim so much easier than he can walk or stand, but he even looks, like, a little healthier just being in this uh, dimension. And I'll, all of you, inside here feel that thick sticky bitter cold humidity from the black sea that doesn't even make sense and makes you feel sick just walking around has completely disappeared within whatever kind of pocket dimension this is it's cool it's nice it feels like 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 a like a very well air conditioned house and and it's fresh like even though you're underwater which is weird for you guys uh the humans who have never breathed water before breathing water is like this it's just a really fucking intensely fresh sensation, like you're, um, 
Like that, like when you drink water after brushing your teeth. How does he, guys? I think our DM's a fish because there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling good, right? I'm feeling real good. Yeah, you're still a skeleton, though, like deep behind well, your disguise. Son of a bitch. You feel as good as you can for being undead. Just, you just needed a little rinse. You just need a little, little put a little water on it. This is this is actually <laughs> awesome. Yeah. What, What's in this water? Uh, and as you notice that Finn sort of seems more at home here, he's like, he starts to like just slew around. You ask, where do we even start? He goes, anywhere. <laughs> 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 okay, let's, uh, I, guys, I think we should leave, uh, leave Grand Peepa to it for a bit, but, um, shit, I, I, I guess if there's... Should we look around a little? Yeah, yeah, I, I say we give it a peek. I guess I'll just go pick up a random book and flip through it. Is there an undead section? Yeah, that's a good question. You ask one of the tiny axolotls, this one's just wearing a, a, a simple bow tie. I love these guys. It, yeah, I'll come up, I'll, I'll say, uh, hey, is there a, an undead section? Not that I am, or like I... Nearly any topic can be researched here, given enough time! If you can find the right book, they're everywhere. He, he, he. <laughs> guys, guys, I don't think I'm going back to the ship. <laughs> My friend is undead, and like I, you know, I want to like help out and stuff. Uh, this axolotl explains the mechanics. If you want to find a relevant book, here's what you gotta <laughs> do. Uh, Charlie, do you want to read it out? It's on your item. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, I will. I haven't read it yet. Okay, hang on. Another actual uh, comes up. He's wearing a uh, like like he's wearing your glasses in real life. They're just like <laughs> like the little blue on the pink. <laughs> read the research. Nearly any topic can be researched here, given enough time, dot dot dot, if you find the right book. What, did my friend already say that shit? To find a relevant <laughs> book, roll 1d20. On a 1 to 20, you find nothing! Then on an 11 to 20, you find something. If a topic is particularly unlikely to be in the library, only a natural 20 will produce a book of relevance. Additionally, each person can only attempt a book search once per day. Each day spent reading a book equates to plus one to the research check. You can attempt a research check with a given book on the first day, but it can only attempt the check once before the book returns to a random shelf in the library. This rule was set to disallow dropping books midway, as Finn is a respectable cover-to-cover -cover scholar. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Just swims away. All right, bet. Ten. Also, you can only explain the rules to someone once! Then never again! Oh shit, no, I wasn't paying attention, sorry, oh no! Okay, okay, so, the Axolotl just kind of swims away after explaining, you roll a 10, you start looking around, but you, it's so, it's such an expansive library, you don't find a specific undead book. I'll help chip with that, I guess, and try to do it. What was it, investigation check? Uh, it's just a d20. Dude, the little guy already, the, the fucking temple already. I rolled a 15. So, Jay, without chip, what kind of book about undead are you looking like what kind of information are you trying to get considering maybe the history of the black rose pirates uh finn and and also potentially captain widow maybe there is a book uh, about her and her specific skill set that might explain some stuff that would have needed a natural 20 so i'm gonna say you can okay. find a basic book about the nature of undead creatures that's fine uh, which you can read and then ask topics related to undead creatures so what we'll do, what we'll do with reading is you'll make an investigation check, but every additional day you spend reading it, you get a plus one to the check. Okay. Uh, and the number that you roll equates to how many questions you can ask about the topic. I love books and reading. What other, what other info do we really want right now? Because I'm, I do have to resist just like how to crochet or something. That could be useful skill, maybe. Um, I don't think there's anything special specific I'd be looking for so I guess if like oh yeah you can use this at any time I'm pretty sure you can do this once a day this door stays open for 24 hours if I remember right and these axolotls can do almost anything for you if you need it like pass a message to him I just always wondered if he ever came up with any special grand peepa spells I never really saw him do magic I'll look for grand peepa spells I mean, yeah he was a bird that's pretty he was a bird Pretty crazy. Oh, that would be wait, 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 wait. I'm changing it. I want to know more about the spell that he cast that turned him into a bird. Yeah, yeah, okay. Roll d20. 19. 19. Oh, let's, let's go. So let's good. go. Let's go. All right. I know, I know, I wish. You find a scroll. So, not necessarily a full book, but it is a like, um, quite a long scroll that is just very tightly densed, packed paragraphs. Uh, from top to bottom, filling this entire scroll. And it kind of glistens as you like move it left and right, almost like reflective paper. And it has a ton of, it's like handwritten too. It's like a ton of scratchy writing. So this looks like the spell you were talking about. This spell is ninth level. Oh my God. That's in our mechanic terms. 
And what Gillian sees is a very this this is the scroll of the spell. And it's big. And it is very powerful. You can just tell, like, from your experience with magic that this scroll is super powerful. And what it was called when he wrote it, and you can see like at the top there's like scratched out names. But the one that he stuck <laughs> with stuck with was Finn's Recourse. So you have to read this for uh, the day. Like at the end of the day, you have to spend time reading it or something. Okay. And then investigation will be how you uh, sweet. Yeah, get involved in the more. Yeah. Yeah, I'll spend I'll spend the day reading it. I guess I like it here. I like it here. It's nice. It doesn't kill me to be here. It doesn't feel like constant darkness and sadness and shadow and pain. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to talk about that because I mean, a few things, I guess, really. While we're in this nice, nice water, it's like warm. It's like, it's like. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, that was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. I was going for the same bit. Both of you? You too, man? Yeah. An axolotl comes up wearing like big round glasses. I'll clean that up. Don't worry. And then just like. And it's gone. Wow, there's actually incentive to keep doing it. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Um, hey, Jay. Just let go. You can come and go whenever you'd like. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't think I can do the first one anymore. They'll clean it up if you do, yeah. Would you like to research? Psych. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> anyway. These guys are funny. Little, little axolotls, I shoot it. <laughs> we are all one collective consciousness. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, Man, axolotls over there, they're, they're, they're tricky. They're tri um, a <laughs> tricky bunch. As you command. Friend of Tide Strider, and then they just swim away. What, you didn't want anyone to clean it when you do? No. Just spit it out. Come on. She does the white person thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't spit it out. They'll clean it up. <laughs> well, I, I'm wondering about, you know, the old men on our ship. If we should be really keeping them while we're here. I was, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Maybe we bring them back. To not the death ocean. I think that's a good idea. I mean, if this stays open for 24 hours, I also have, um, I've got the magic in me, so I could try and cast a few old, uh, lessy resses, um, on, uh, on the people that are suffering the most. Earl's not looking good from what I saw. It's mostly just Earl, really. Urge, <laughs> <laughs> urge. I just think as long as we keep them in here, we're putting them in danger, and... You know, I love having them around, but it's not like they're necessary to this specific journey that we're on. Oh, are you saying keep them in here or, or teleport them away? Well, uh, I was thinking teleport them, but... Well, how long does that door stay there for? 24 hours. Oh, what happens the when... The axolotl it, told me. What is it? What happens when it closes? I don't know. Because this place just like... <laughs> <laughs> you know? Maybe we like let it disappear and then figure out what happens and then... Leave him in here? Because I don't want to leave him in here and get stuck. Why don't we just ask everyone on the on the crew? They all know what they signed up for. We could just go around. How, how about this? Why don't I cure them of corruption first, and then we ask? Hey, well, here's the thing, Gillian, is we're the captains, you know, and they're our crew. They signed on to follow us, and they'll follow us wherever we lead them. And I think we should lead them home, at least to a place that's a little safer than this. I, I won't tell them to, to die for the cause, but I also won't tell them to not die for the cause. So it's really it's, it's really up to them if, if they if they want to be here, if they want to fight alongside of us, what captains would we be if we turned that down? I don't want specifically to keep, you know, old man Earl, maybe Dre, especially Finn, in this in the sea longer than needed. Everybody else, we can we can use the help of, but it goes beyond just what's best for them. I hate to say it, but they're a risk in here. Yes. Look, I'm just trying to be realistic here. Maybe that's a conversation we have then about what happens if someone goes down. But um, we added all of these people to this crew because they're all. Either powerful, con, you know, competent, smart, just from all walks. I don't feel the best about just like ordering them to go home if they want to see this through with us. I don't want to order anybody to go home. I'm more, I'm just worried about the people who who can't do anything but stay on the ship, who are just sitting here and and waiting and slowly becoming more and more corrupted, without a thing they can do about it. That doesn't feel right. It doesn't sit well with me. And if they want to stay on the ship, that's their choice. But I don't 
want them to feel like they have to be here. The corruption I can... I can deal with. Especially while we travel, I can help cure people of it. And so that way it's really just... The decision is just if they want to stay here. Not if they will just want to, you know, be consumed by the dark thoughts. Well, maybe we should talk to everybody. I, I like the world where all of us get out of this. Yeah, same. <laughs> I, I prefer... I, I, I kind of glance at Chip and then look look away real, real quick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll find the right book, buddy. Don't worry. Hey, uh, one thing at a time. I also wanted to talk about our next destination, I guess. We would go to the hole, right? But we can't find it now. We don't have the map, no. If we traveled to the different landmarks, do you think you could draw up enough of a map? Triangulation? Yeah. Um, easy. It's baby shit. You know who you're talking to? Alright, motherfucker. <laughs> Say it with your chest. <laughs> shit. I am. If someone had a recollection or a... Well, the map isn't on their bodies anymore, right? Like... But if anyone remembers how their last journey into this sea went, maybe we can retrace those steps. Can I actually, like, do a check to see how I might recall this map? History for memory, like we usually do? I'm gonna give her guidance. I'm gonna give her guidance. Uh, I'm also gonna do Flash of Genius, so that's another four. Let's go! Four. We're, going, we're going big. Uh, 22 plus another 4, 26 plus D4. Okay, I got it. That's 30. <laughs> Dude, you, uh, you remember the landmarks and stuff? It would be easier if we go to all three islands. Um, but I could maybe get away with just doing two. It was, um, it was Onawa Country, which you've been to. It was the stronghold. And then it was the, um, it created a triangle on the, in the top. Like one of the, the last point was the Crescent Chain, which is a, if you remember reading, which you do from history. It was where the final altercation of the pirate lords happened a decade ago before Rose tried to retire. And it's supposedly supposed to be in the middle between those points somewhere. Um, but as far as where we go next, um, I'd really like it if we went to the Navy stronghold. Of war. Then let's do it. Well, oh, I mean... Okay. I mean uh, I mean, yeah, like, sure, but I just... Uh, well, I just well, you I, you look pretty bad now, huh? Well, yeah, because you made me look like a dick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, any, anything for you, Jay. Yeah, you don't need to tell me. I trust you. Chip, for your sake, since you didn't like... Well, no, don't make it about me like that. <laughs> well, like, just for you, because you're What the hell, really guys? I just... And... No, because I'm taking an interest in, like, your interests. You know, like, Gillian basically said, I don't care. He doesn't want to know. I think I look better. Out of, like, generosity and love for my friend, I am going to tell you the reason because you you asked me and and I appreciate that but I also appreciate your sincerity and just wanting to go with it Gillian and that really means a lot to me as well thank you both and now we're all just jerking <laughs> each other off can you just say why you want to go there I want to know too you stay nice out of this one, so <laughs> this is the only chance I'm going to get to go to to a navy stronghold that is completely abandoned and we will have no live resistance at least and you know that for sure you think there's going to be Active Navy members still in the sea. There were after everything we've pirates seen, pirates here. Yeah, but from what I know, the Navy pulled out ages ago. And if they still have some kind of connection or any kind of files that have been updated still or anything, maybe I can find out something about Ava. Maybe I can find out who gave that order. Um, hey, okay, let's go and check all that out. I'm sure we can learn something. And all I ask is that when we get there, um, like just before we walk in, you go. Yeah, there's definitely going to be nobody nobody here, no opposition here, so that it's really funny when there is. Oh, yeah, I write that down. I write down, <laughs> I write down, uh, hello, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> um, and, and, whew, that was easy. I write down, hey guys, watch this. <laughs> and I give the, uh, I give the axolotl a, a full copy of my, uh, just roll the riptide notes. You also hear right behind you, young card striker. <laughs> You see, yeah, you like whip around, you see an axolotl that has like Finn's beard and stuff. I have connected my consciousness to these axolotls once more. Well, okay, so I are you- I just to make it easier for me to communicate. I have so many grandpas now! You see another one that has like one of its eyes closed and it looks like Dre a little bit. He did it to me too for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no way, please do us. I'm down. 
was come to the second level and I will connect you to the axolotls. Oh, okay, yes. Grandpa Axolotl. We go I, I, instantly. Yeah, we go to the second level to get jacked into a high mind. <laughs> okay, you uh, see that they are just like Finn and Dre. Uh, Dre's like lounging on, on a chair that's just floating It's by itself, but not like... It's weird because it's like floating and spinning, but it's not moving with any kind of current or anything here in the, in, in the under the water. Uh, you go out to Finn, who's just like pulling books and then looking at them, tossing them somewhere. You come up to him, and as soon as you do, he looks at you and puts his thumb on uh, your forehead. You, and then immediately a little uh, axolotl pops up, and it looks just like Gillian. Wait, guys, what's going on? For one second, I was going up to see my grandpa, and now all of a sudden, everything's different. <laughs> <laughs> turning into like cosmic horror. I, this is turning into horror, and I don't... I'm not like I don't I don't want to wait. So we're going to the stronghold next. Oh, not you, little guy. You get to stay in here forever. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, he does this to Chip and Jay immediately right after, and then you know the axolotls come up. So whenever if you are far apart here in the library because it is quite big, if you're far apart and you think using this axolotl, it will run around and do what you think or, or say. Oh, that's awesome! This is so cool. Only inside here. This is like this is like some severance. Bullshit. Me and the axolotl in the corner are doing a duet of heart and soul. Guys, can we please do a one shot where we play as our axolotl fucking selves trapped in this library? <laughs> what happens when the library door closes? Yeah, right. <laughs> nice to see you join the collective consciousness. Let me out of here! I'm everything and nothing all at once. <laughs> this isn't real. This isn't real. <laughs> I can't tell who's me. Which thoughts are mine? Get a load of this guy. Yeah, yeah, so until you're like better at this like brain exercise of controlling your thoughts All of your thoughts are just pouring out of your axolotls right now. This Finn's sadistic way of uh, sharpening his mind Swim, this swim, is fucked. swim. This is fucked up. Swim. This is so fucked. <laughs> evil, evil light. Who am I? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop out of the library, I think. Yeah, I'll also leave. Does dying make your dick shrink? Google. <laughs> Little axolotl live. Google comes up. <laughs> Hey! You're a skeleton, you have no dick anymore. What? <laughs> my dick <laughs> fell off? No! Dude, my dick fell off? <laughs> oh, gross, another worm. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> no! <laughs> When you committed to being a fucking skeleton, you lost everything. Greater restoration right now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a that's a high level spell. It's really high, yeah. It's... Nah, it's less a restoration at best, and I know that. <laughs> I would like to go around the ship to whoever seems the most corrupt, and and um, lesser restoration is one one corruption point, right? Oh uh, yes, I believe so. Talk to Chip for one moment, and I have another thing on the dossier. Sure. Yeah, I'd love to just get I'd... the get my stuff identified, and that's really all yeah. I want. Uh, I can only identify, cast identify one time a day, so can I identify shit just by, like, taking time to do it? I will, uh, allow it to be used as a ritual just so you don't have to, like, call Inza and waste your teleport every time you want to identify. And basically what you do, doing identify as a ritual is only, I don't know if it's, it's not something you should be able to do, but I'm just going to allow it. It just means, like, one item per hour? The Eye of Farron has, has identify as well as... Is what I'm saying. Not that we have to teleport. Okay, I'd like to. I'll talk with Jay. I want to identify the item I've got. Hey Chip, uh, I stop you as you come out of the library. Uh, I do the white people thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do it fast. We're just gonna keep doing that all of a sudden. If you could maybe go talk to Queen. I mean, you guys seem closest, but she was kind of uh, a little upset after our encounter. Oh, with yeah. that bard. Yeah, no, I could I could talk and what should I say? I don't know. I mean Could we like tag team it? You wanna tag team it? I don't know, I need to make I need to make a call to Enza. Um Well what the hell, man? You just put this on me, you're so gonna go like, walk away? Well no, it's I sure we can tag team it, I guess. I I don't really know what to say either though. I'm not really What makes you think I don't I'm dead, dude. Well I'm dead. Okay. I go, I go, I'm, I go up and I say, you know how to play the xylophone, and I lift up my bones. Yeah, That's all I'm I can just, do. I'm just a girl, so like, what do you want from me, man? What? <laughs> Can't teleport Enza today if that was the plan. I was gonna teleport Enza now. Uh, I just wanted to get her to send a, a piece of mail in dolphin, dolphin mail, because we can't do that in the Black Sea. I would send it myself, but we can't. Do have a letter for my wife. Need to get that sent in dolphin mail. <laughs> we can. We'll, we'll make a little. We make a little mailbox at the bottom of the ship that we can put in mail <laughs> to send to Enza. Come with me. I'm not doing this alone. Okay. 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 So uh, you sort of follow behind Gil as he walks into the uh, kitchen area, like that. Where the captain quarter normally is on a ship, this is where your like crew sleeps in the in the kitchen and stuff. And 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 as soon as you walk in, Gil first, 
because you're looking to lesser restoration, the most corrupted, which is Oral at the moment, he uh, turns around in this dark <laughs> darkness, and you just see the white eyes glowing through it, piercing the darkness, <laughs> and you hear, Got any grapes? <laughs> yeah, he's fucked, he's fucked. He, he's too far gone. Gillian, you're doing that. We're doing a different thing. You're doing that. Hey there, <laughs> little man. Hey. Got any um, oranges? How about I take some coral from your head again and make a potion? Yeah, let's. I'll that's make a, a potion. That's a good idea. <laughs> 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 He's got that. You hear steps running up the stairs. The door slam. Yeah, he fucking jumps on me. I go flying out the door, like wrestling with him. He's like grabbing onto the coral. The coral yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like right, fucking I'm him make around. This going on to him. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Chip and Jay are gone. <laughs> oh, we're gone. Oh, we're so gone. We're gone. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use. Uh, let's see. Um, I've got three second level slots. Uh, I'll use them all on Earl, honestly, if he's really bad. Yes, so that's three, three points of corruption? Three, yeah, three points of corruption back. Okay, you <laughs> like the grip as you like, do, 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 like, like, like send your spells <laughs> off into his body. Uh, that, that, like, 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 that divine light just sort of courses through his veins for a second, then he, like, 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 just falls on his back and starts breathing. <sighs> Yeah, where are we? Well, sorry about that. Um, hey, when you see me, on? when you see me, Whoa. do you think fish or do you think juice? Uh, I think fucking idiot. I'm being real. <laughs> there he is. Shit, all right. Yo. What, uh, hey, new guy. When do you get here? Oh, you know, just, I've been rowed about. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, no, don't worry about it. A stronghold somewhere. Hey, Earl, let me know if it ever gets out of if out of hand again, or if you feel particularly dark, or if you want to start juicing the crewmates. Okay, just will do. Me. Yeah, maybe I get back on that circuit. You know, start hitting P90X. Yeah, I think we have one downstairs. <laughs> you spent a lot of money on it, and we never have really used it. I gotta, you know, like build up the respiratory system. Get my muscles back over. Flexes, skin stretches, like that, like. I uh, yeah, yeah. I sort of, I sort of sent off a lot of our money to uh, to a, a shake weight startup. I have some downstairs. If you want to do them with me, do you guys know shake fuck weights? Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, Just dude. Two fucking guys doing oh, yeah. shake weights. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's fucking fuck do yes. it. Yes. Fuck All yeah, right. dude. I'm gonna show you how to shake that weight. I'm a Not master if I show at you it. first. Not if I show you. Shake that weight. Not if I show you second. Not if I shake it harder. Second is the. Second is the back end. Not if I shake it faster. No, not if I shake it longer. Big long strokes. So you guys go down to the bottom deck. Exiting their team, that's all. <laughs> Whenever you look for for Queen, you you you're going to try that, you know, that uh, cruise quarters area and then this stuff happens, you realize Queen's not in there. Before we go and find Queen. Jay and Chip go to craft a little thing. Can I melt down five hundred gold pieces into into Easily malleable metal, <laughs> and then <laughs> I don't want to say what it is yet. I'll just DM you. Oh, um, what tool sets do you guys have? Actually, I have a thing. I have a thing. Uh, give me an hour and I can make any tool set. Okay, Jay, you'll have to produce like an armor's or blacksmith set for this. I, I spent an hour getting hammers. <laughs> hammers. I somehow set up an anvil. Uh, and a giant furnace. <laughs> and just use your kitchen furnace, yeah. Then we cut to me wiping, wiping the sweat off my brow, and I'm like, oh. It's a fucking, like, blacksmith montage. Yeah, that's what I'm picturing, too. I'm picturing, like, you know when, like, uh, you finish an outpost in Far Cry? <laughs> yes, dude! <laughs> it just, like, changes the camera, and all of a sudden she's got the fucking hammer and anvil. Chip walks up to me. <sighs> what can I do you for? We sit there and, like, hover for a second while I, while I go through the menu. What do you need to crafting? In the, in the time that it takes for Gillian and Earl to do their shake weight P90X workout. They shake weight for an hour? Probably more, honestly. They're, like, like, like they're both really competitive, I assume. They're going to have crazy fucking forearms, bro. Gillian <laughs> is a till, till failure. Old Man Earl sweats out, like... Two corruption points? <laughs> no, he sweats out, like, <laughs> ten years of his life. Like, he's oh, fucking shit. on the ground afterwards. Just, like, he's so he's asleep. If he is not Iro jacked... I don't want him on the ship anymore. <laughs> That's gonna take a minute. And we only we only have we only have two, so we're both doing like one arm. He is Iro jacked, <laughs> but it's like it's like underneath the loose skin. He's gotta like do some exercise. He's gotta get bigger to fill it out, you know. Yeah, his legs are good though. Dude, we gotta shake more weights. Let's just like pull the skin back and put a chip clip. That's so gross, dude. This is a fucking family guy. Okay, bit. okay, okay, okay. So uh, you guys finish up. It's it's late late afternoon. Uh, still sailing in the direction you gave it to both Griffin and. Uh, it's a loose direction. Actually, just uh, go ahead and roll survival. 
Uh, 22. Based off memory and using the spyglass, you, Griffin and Igneous are paddling as fast as they can, pretty slow, towards the stronghold. Uh, and also, as soon as I finish up, the entire furnace and everything else uh, crumbles into dust. What the fuck? Artificer. Yeah, they they uh they vanish into ashes, and it uh, kind of sweep it off the deck. I I break it. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. trip and I break it. Gillian walks back through the wall. <laughs> then the three of you, the captains, will find Queen sitting on um at the very back of the ship. There is like a little balcony that you can get to uh, either from this sort of. Uh, from the deck of the he- where the helm is, or through the crew's quarters, and it's just a small, very thin balcony at the back of the ship. They're just sitting on the rails, out looking out uh, as the ship sort of um, slowly pushes forward, and their elbow is just leaned against the railing. Oh shit! Am I last minute getting it on a group gift? That's super awkward. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You'll you'll see it and just pretend pretend it was all of us. You leading this in? Am I leading this in? Who's leading uh, this sh- in? I feel like. You should lead this in because, like, you're closer. With you feel like back. I need to be doing a lot today, don't you? I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. It's just like it's cool, guys. I got this. Oh no. No, no. That's like that might be a bad. I even know what to talk to her about. And he's gone. Hey, Queenie Pie. Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> how's it? How's it kicking up here? How's the lack of winds treated? How's the dark, this dark out? I guess always. I guess it's always dark out. A completely stale air. And- How are you doing, Queen? Captains. Oh, um, am I needed? No, um, just checking up. Just sort of hitting a rest here, at, and until getting back to um, the normal. Yeah, cause I mean, it looks like you're staring longingly out beyond the ship. Was I? Ye- yeah. Look, I didn't notice. It's all right. We all stare longingly now and again. Ah. Uh, it's sort of like an atmospheric. Uh, again, there's no wind in the Black Sea, but there is like a push of just like their hair that gently. May I confide in you, Captains? Of course. Anytime. Yeah. I will I'll like rest against the the ship, trying to like have as casual of body language and open. I'll like rest on ship, like while he's resting on the ship, so it's like we're like in a row. It's like super chill though. Yeah, I also lean I lean up against the rail and just like look out as as she talks. I'm like trying to figure out like how to position, but like I can't quite like I put two arms on it and then I put like my elbow on it, but it's like a little too tall. So it's like up here and then I like sit on it, but then I like almost fall off. So I just like and and then I just go back to standing completely upright. And I go to stand in front of Gillian, (laughs) like just trying to block this awkward (laughs) trying to seem super Jill and like this is totally normal. At, At a certain point I just I full on give up and just man emoji. (laughs) <laughs> I can picture that so vividly. <laughs> they look out ahead. Have you ever... Have you ever been scared of who you are? I looked at Gillian, oh. actually. <laughs> Gillian um, makes the white guy face. Uh, <laughs> Jay also makes the white guy face. Yeah, that's okay. What are you scared of? Of who I was. Terrified. It never bothered me before. And then I met someone who knew me and they were evil. And I knew their melody. It wasn't a bad one at all. I'm wishing I hated it. Because we all hated them for who they were and what they've done. What if I was evil? Before we met, what if it all comes back one day and I? What would you do? If it's okay, I... I guess I'd answer that with a question for you. If it did come back. And I don't know, maybe it might. Does that get rid of who you are now? Because... From the moment I met you in that weird alley when I saw you on that stage, you've been more than a good person and a good artist. You've been an amazing friend. And even if you were something else before, I don't think that changes the memories you've made now who you are now. You don't get to choose who you were. 
You get to choose who you're going to be. What if I'm not even cursed? What if I wasn't an artist or a musician or a friend at all? And I'm just no good. And one day I'll realize this was all um, an act. And, and what if it's so impactful that it, it overrides all of the new? Like, 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 like sailing a boat. Some say once you learn, you never forget. Well, then I guess, um... How do you unlearn who you were if you suddenly remember... <laughs> How do you choose to be? It's okay. Are you scared of who you were, or are you scared that you'll remember? Both. I don't... I don't know what all of that's like, and some of it... I'm sorry you have to go through any of it. I know it's not an act. Right now, I think you do too. It's just... Hard to tell sometimes when you start asking so many questions. It's easy to get trapped up in there, point at their head, instead of seeing what we all see, which I think is you. And if it does come back, we'll get through it. You'll get through it. This queen we know now is strong, really strong. And I don't think, no, I don't think whatever happened before is going to override that. And we won't think any less of you for it. Yeah. Um, hey, we, uh, we made you something. A little bit ago, and I beckoned the chip to pull it out. I, d I didn't help, but <laughs> I wish I'd, I w wish I did. But I think you helped more than enough with what you said. I pull out a small crown. I hand it over, and I say, "I can't speak to who you were before, but to me, I now." Like Gillian said, you're a friend, a healer, a queen. The queen deserves a crown. And if you ever find yourself doubting who you might be, I mean, I hope you can look at this crown and you know, think of the you that, that we all see. They um take off their tall top hat and uh, sort of reveal like what you hadn't seen before, these rabbit ears that are tall and kind of sprout from the top of their white long hair um and they just sort of uh put the crown on their head sits nicely between them doesn't move around too much uh, i feel crazy <laughs> thank you captains of course and then they uh look out and toss their top hat <laughs> onto the scene <laughs> i will uh do my best to be as brave as the example you set. <laughs> we won't stop you. Because we're having a good time. Having a good time. <laughs> 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 having a ball. Yeah, all of you sort of uh, we, get back yeah. onto the main deck. We probably like chat a little bit and then go our separate ways to do our things. I'll help, bro. I'll check back in on Igneous, who's been rowing forever. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Working hard? <laughs> Never seen a rock see sweat before. <laughs> no wonder uh, condensation. Okay. Yeah, totally, totally. He stops for a second. <laughs> Life on the sea is a lot more, a lot tougher than I expected. Yeah, I guess you kind of just gotta get used to it. You know, the whole being a pirate thing and like being like legendary and stuff. You'll get there one day, buddy. Thought I was pretty fit. Hey, and I looked why is the ship fearing left? <laughs> hey, Griffin actually yells out, 
Come on, keep it up. All right. <laughs> like <going> back to- <laughs> now I need to find the navigator to read the star course. <laughs> it's so funny because Igneous is fucking jacked and like he looks really fit, but this is like winding him. I go to Igneous, I go, no, 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 no. Let the real pirates handle this. I go to pull the the row, and I'm just like having a really fucking hard time. <laughs> and I'm like, super easy for a legendary pirate. Ugh. One of the bones just really <sighs> snaps. <in> your forearm. <laughs> yeah, that was a pirate scream. You know, we like to do those around here. Yeah, hey, yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. We like yeah. to do those around here. You know, it just really keeps morale up. Real good example, Cap. Oh, hey, Igneous, are you free? I am now. Schedule is free up. Captains are so generous. Oh, okay, great, actually. Yeah, I was just hoping we could hang out for a bit. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't gotten to get to know you very well. Love so to let's get to it. know. Yeah, everyone on the crew. It's always fun. Oh, keep out of chip. I kind of want to hang out. Fucking <laughs> 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 winter. I look. I just look at. I look at chip. <laughs> he did the white people mouth. I know he did. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I continue whimpering. That is all. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Well, can we hear that? <laughs> it continues throughout the night. Um, <laughs> you hear that like over and over. Getting to around early evening now. What, what's next? I just want to call Enza and be like, "Hey, um, Enza, uh, I need a favor. Can you write a letter to, to a friend?" Oh, of now mine? you're asking more stuff of me, huh? You I'm dump sorry. all these people Listen, into my just... fucking house, and then now you want what is you it? G- you gave us a teleporter. We, we, of course, we're gonna use it. It's just, it is. What I didn't it is, expect right? you to save up towards the twenty to fifty people every fucking well, day. Did okay. We. Neither did we. Neither did we. Okay. These people need but, homes now. I can yeah. afford that. Well, I we mean, don't have enough rooms. That... I'm putting some of them to work already. That's good. I mean, they probably need work. What they need is is sixteen clerics. So some of them are vomiting up black ooze. And so don't Anyways, be sassy with um, me right now. <laughs> I'm fuck. I'm fucking with you. Okay. Um, Don't be sassy. Is crazy. <laughs> what is I it? Just, I just need you to to send a letter to to a friend in the horsey for me, and then one to the prison in all parts. Yeah, yeah, and also, and also, <laughs> uh, also, Chip has a letter. Yeah, that he wants to send. I will spend the rest of the day reading books, and I will read the scroll, and I will also take a cheeky peek. At my grandpa's dark puckered hall. Dude, you just can't <laughs> say it that way, though. You, you can't, like, refer to it like that. Just, like, out of curiosity. Like, I started to get bored with the scroll probably, like, after, like, knowing Gillian about maybe seven minutes. And then I just, like, look over at the book. I'm just like, oh, like, maybe I just, like, crack it open. Yeah. You can't be looking at your grandfather that way, bro. What's wrong? No, you, you said, I'm gonna take a look at my grandfather's dark puckered hole, bro. Dude, that's gross! <laughs> Why would you say that? Dude, what the fuck? Dude, that's fucked. You cannot say that. About his grandfather, man? About my grandpa? Why are you looking yeah. at my grandpa's ass? Just weird. Weird that you'd do that. Just interested, bro. I don't know. I'll tell you what, you died and you changed. So you basically have to focus on one or the other, so you, you're either gonna get your roll for the scroll or for dark puckered hole and then same for jay jay for the rest of the day you can either start identifying all the items that you guys have gotten or you can work on your pistol okay uh natural one is dark puckered hole no one <laughs> one through ten one through ten is hole uh 11 through 20 is scroll that's a natural 20 what the fuck all right that's the scroll i guess i feel like my priority is totally the pistol is it bad that like recently I had a change of heart and suddenly now I want Jay to have like our full on rifle? But I don't think that should happen. <laughs> well, maybe maybe he'll poke it in the right place and it will expand. <laughs> it will expand into a rifle. <laughs> Fucking just make up your mind before you like make it cannon. That's all. Yeah, pistol. Wait, you're gonna make it a cannon too? Dude, Jesus, it does everything. Yeah, dude. It's also a cannon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have multiple days of travel, right? You're fucking paddling, so it's gonna be a minute. Um, so tomorrow you can do the magic items. Okay, so the rest of the day, gun for Jay. Chip, what would you like to do? You can find out what something does by attuning to it. I just wanted to know what my um my item did. Yeah, so if you want to find out, am, you can attune to it. I am attuned. Whoa! It got an icon when I did it. Whoa! So you put the ring on, you sit like wherever you want to sit, and immediately as soon as you put it on, you start getting like these flashes of memory where you are... Uh, the, the first one that comes to mind is when you were protected by uh, Arlen during the battle in the hole in the sea. And the tentacles pop up and they're f- slashing and grabbing the ship and, and breaking it in half and he uh, uh, just barely throws you back onto the ship and Dre ties you to the center mast. And uh, that memory fades and you attune and you can add Ring of the Ocean Beast to your inventory. Ring of what? 
The scallop? <laughs> Bro said, what the scallop? Holy clam! This ring has been passed down through the generations. It grants the wearer the protection of the sea. Ocean beast. While attuned to this ring, you get a plus two bonus to AC. Ocean beast? Dude, this is this is like the moon beast's son. It's gotta be. I, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, <laughs> you know what the moon controls, dude. Turn the tides. You can expend a charge to cast the shield spell on a reaction. Oh, fuck Holy yeah. Fuck, it's got a lot of charges too. Yeah, six charges. Wait, but does it regenerate charges? That's a DM question. The ring recovers 1d6 charges at dawn. Wait, so that does that mean my AC is supposed to be 19? 19 plus you get six casts of shield a day, which is plus five. Dude, that's crazy. Dude. You're ind we're indestructible, dude. It's, it feels good. It feels good. Oh, it feels good, but like, I'm still dead, you know? Like, <laughs> so like, what am I protecting right now? You feel me? I don't know, dude. Like the last, the last fucking inches that are left. Oh, they're all gone. Oh no, you gave me four, bro. I'm <laughs> actually moving up inches. in the world, matter of fact. No, you should keep track of that in your notes. We'll keep track of the inches. All right. Notes, backstory, four <laughs> inches. I'll read the Discord. I'll read the Discord. All right. So you spend some time going through it. <laughs> it's very scratchy, very complicated. It, you're you're not a wizard or anything. You, teaching Gillian magic was a struggle, but you got by because you innately just picked it up. Like you yeah, know what he, I mean. He's not very good at learning. Stuff. <laughs> so this will take a bit. Uh, so that's what you do now, Jay. You start working on your weapon. Basically, what you're doing is you're attuning yourself to it as the artificer, and uh, uh, we're flavoring that as also you are figuring out what the fuck you want to do with it and. Uh, you can add it to your inventory when you're done. Um, I think for tonight, though, basically what I'd be doing is I'd be taking that pistol and, like, adding the auto-loading property that I have on all of my pistols because I never want to deal with the loading property. <laughs> that's so fair. And I guess attuning to it if that's uh, what is needed. So you can add, it's called Phoenix, to your your inventory. Ooh! 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 Damn! And if you want, you can read out what it does. Yeah, I absolutely will. Or maybe I won't. Okay. Fuck you. But I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. Uh, artificial radiance. When you do damage with this weapon, you deal an additional 1d8 of radiant damage. And once per long rest, while wielding this weapon, you can shoot a target that has dropped to zero HP. Oh, I get healing points. I get healing bullets. This is my dream come true. Yay! Uh, and on... And heal them uh, for the amount of damage dealt. Oh, I get it. It's Phoenix. Only on people who are dead, though. Yeah, because they, they rise from the ashes. So that's that's, that's, that's cool. I like that. Maybe like you can that. shoot cool. Chip. And, uh... Hey, Chip, can I try something? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you used to have a healing gun in PD? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Yeah, so the healing awesome. shot. But, like, it wasn't, like, 100% chance that it was going to be a healing shot. I feel like I remember. Yeah, I'd just be like, you know, this might work. And I shoot them, and usually it did. <laughs> last reminder for the end of the night before you guys start to long rest. I have one last thing I want to do before I go to sleep. I'm going to use the rest of my spell slots, which is three third level, three fourth level, and two fifth level. All on lesser restorations for corruptions for our crew. So that's eight casts I can do. How would you like to divvy it up? So you used three on... On Earl, yeah. And he had over four, uh, so I don't know where he's at now. I think he's under four now. I mean, so you rolled that natural 20 earlier. I, mean, I just wanted to tell you where everyone was at. Earl's back at three now. Ignis at four, Queen is at three, Griffin is at three. Okay, and uh, Dre and Grand Peepaw, do they have any? Uh, Grand Peepaw had one. He's aging, yeah, and Dre's at three. Okay, two on Igneous, one on Earl, one on Queen, mm. one on Griffin, one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, one on Dre, so they're all down to two, and then you know what? One more on Queen, because they deserve it tonight. That's real. Queen's down to one. So Igneous should be at, at two, Earl's at two, Queen's at one, Griffin's at two, Dre's at two, and Grandpa's at one. Uh, Chip, you got that envelope, and you have that sort of smaller looking cone shell. Okay. I mean, I look in the envelope. What's up with that? In the envelope, you see uh, a few small items. It looks like a vial with a small, like a very tiny rolled up piece of parchment inside the bottle. Then there's almost like a, uh, a newspaper that has been torn, like just a section that's been torn. Uh, and then there is like a printed out picture from one of the shells that take pictures. All right, so the photo, let's let's do that first. You look at the photo. Yes, I do. On the back, there is like a, like a, it's very faded, but it's a scribbled in sort of heart. Uh, and it just says love. And you turn around and you see a woman that has um, kind of like, like cherry hair, like cherry red hair. And she's beautiful. And she's pregnant. 
and she's in sort of a uh, dark gown uh, holding her stomach and she looks at the shell this is sort of like sitting like that like and like smiles and like waves she's looking Next at the her, shell sorry the cone like shell? she's like looking at the camera basically. oh okay i thought you were saying she had no. she had the cone shell they were saying she had moving eyes that were yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, no 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 static image um she's like posing for a photo mm. this photo and next to her the background's super fuzzy uh it's a very old shell so it's like old magic and it doesn't help that this has been faded over time background super fuzzy so it's all blurred but just next to her the size of like you know a, a very young teen maybe 13 or less you see kid with long black hair and a braid and a face that reminds you of Price. Oh, wait, sorry. Let me. Let me. I'll need to do a different face. Don't do the white people face. <laughs> what the? What the scallop? What the? I will actually curse you to cause you to drop what the scallop out of your vocabulary because that is a crazy reaction. <laughs> let me. Let me take that back uh, and do a new reaction. Holy mackerel! I actually love what the scallop. Don't like that one. I kind of miss what the scallop. I like okay, I'm scallop. gonna uncurse you. All right, then use that. Mother of carp. <laughs> <laughs> so are you saying that this is totally no, no? But motherfucker, you are though. You is though. So this woman <laughs> and you and you and you look at me, okay? This woman does she is this the wife of Captain Rose? You uh, like context is probably his who his fiance was, yeah. Why would he? Why else would he put it here? And she's pregnant. Lines up with the fact that he said he was gonna be a dad. Dude, when you were explaining this photo, the whole time I'm thinking, oh god, I'm so fucking stupid. He's gonna tell me something, and I'm supposed like I'm gonna be like supposed to figure it out, and I'm not going to. And then you said that, and now I'm like, vi like my I'm, I'm vibrating at this moment. Yeah, Chip, you see this, and you recognize his face, and your eyes are like, no, wide open. That is not what happens. I see the photo, <laughs> and I go, whoa, hey, <laughs> hey, whoa, <laughs> nope, nope. Okay, whoa. Every, every on the ship whoa. like rushes over to wherever the I fuck do a is. fucking alarm sound. It's the middle of the <laughs> night. Everyone's sleeping. <laughs> Uh, Griffin like like tackles you, puts his mouth. Hey, yeah. there are hey, creatures whoa, in whoa, the water. Whoa, whoa. Shh. You want to fight right now? All right, all right. Calm the fuck down. Politely, Captain. Respect. Shut the fuck up. Take your head off my mouth. All right. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Except for uh, Dre, Dre, Dre and Finn have stayed inside the library, but everybody's around. Chip, Chip, you're gonna wake up Grand Peepa. What could. Whoa! <laughs> I hold up the phone, I'm just holding it up. I hold it to Jay, I hold it to Jay. Who are these people? Wait, 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 I've never seen this it. person before in my life. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait, what? I've never seen Price. Yeah, Jay's never seen Price in her life. Wait, Gillian, yeah, I mean, have you, you seen Price? Like, wait, Gillian? Gil Gillian, Why have you, you seen? Freaking... Yeah, huh, I did. He killed you a billion times in my dream. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Griffin, I, sorry. Man, what the fuck is going on? Griffin, my, my fault, like, bro. I kind of just, like, just figured out that my mortal enemy is the son of, like, one of my father figures. So, like, it's like a the whole thing. Yeah, keep up, Griffin. Griffin, what? <laughs> 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 what have you two been doing together? You're calling him Grippin. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. A lot of a lot of the shake weight. <laughs> what? Uh, with the scallop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm like one fifth of the way through. Can you guys like clear out and then come back if I react that way again? Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Might happen again. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit here. Yes. Yeah, cool. We can do this together. <laughs> we can do this together. I sit in his lap and I pull out the next thing. <laughs> no. 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 Sorry, I just really need a father figure right now. You could have left, dude. This is on you. I'm only like 10 years older than you. Yeah, but you're so like big and like a panda bear. Don't fatherly objectify me. I'm doing it. It's already happening. Can you bounce your leg? <laughs> Hear the bones rattle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pull out the newspaper piece. Uh, You see a newspaper. It has a title that basically frames the Black Rose. Like, the Black Rose conquers another island. Like... You know, they, they, they've gone and they have their flag raised and the, the article, like, you can barely see some sentences that have been ripped off that are, like, framing it as a, the, you know, they have 
they've uh, enslaved these people and put them under their command, blah, blah. But then you see the picture and it is uh, a fucking banquet, dude. Like you can see that the pirates that you remember are all having a good time. Jug's there, the big turtle, you know, Captain Rose, Trey, Arlen, uh, Finn. And, you know, people behind them, they look like, they look kind of impoverished. Um, it's like a, like a, like a, village that um you're not sure where but i don't know if impoverished is the right word but maybe like humble and, and very simple you know nothing too classy nothing too advanced and they're just kind of like fucking hitting it man they're drinking uh they're they have arms over one another they're having a grand time uh and he's just kept it and he put it in here on the back of the newspaper clipping uh it's kind of whited out and faded there's no writing but it is captain rose's handwriting that just he just wrote legacy on it um, all right, small tube with tiny parchment. You open up the small tube. And you start to tip the tube over so that you can slide it out because your fingers won't fit in there. You're you trying to edge me right now, bro. And Come on, let's do this. Freaking me out. There's so much anticipation in my body. This just needs to happen. It slowly slides out of the tube. Oh my God, dude. Hits your palm right as you go to open it. It expands into this massive fucking, uh, almost, almost like a like a hexagonal shaped parchment, ah, right wait. in front of you. Lands on the floor. Wait, <laughs> I start to get up. I, I stop. You are looking. No way. At a hand drawn. No way. I know what this by is. Captain Rose, a map of the world. Oh shit! It's finally fucking time. Are you serious? <laughs> are you fucking, how long have you been Whoa! sitting on this? How long have you been sitting? <laughs> Griffin jumps on you. Yeah. Actually, no. Actually, you hear Griffin go. Whoa. <laughs> I was gonna say Griffin's <laughs> gonna start doing it. Jay walks into the room. Whoa! <laughs> hey, everybody roll initiative. And I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, well, Grandpa, you gotta see this. Grandpa is still in the library. He never left. No, neither did Trey. Whoa. <laughs> sorry, I tried to do his voice as best I could. Oh my God, Pretzel, Pretzel, are you seeing this? So this file is way too big. You guys are gonna have to download it. She's already seeing this. Pretzel, are you seeing this? Pretzel, are you seeing Come this? Come on, Pretzel, are you seeing this? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, hang on. I take out Dusty's blade. Dusty's blade, are you seeing this? No, no, I, I don't have eyes. Oh, uh, sorry. Can you like explain it to him? Yeah. Um. No. <laughs> Do you know what it is? You know oh. why we're screaming about this? Oh, yeah, totally. It's like a, this is like Settlers of Catan, right? Post it in the chat. It looked like that. Whoa. It looked That's like, crazy. it looked like D20. It do look like D20. Holy fuck, girly balls. The way you're flexing on me today is crazy, by the way. Yeah, you are kind of doing that. It's a little You're just mean. like, you're just going so hard today. <laughs> I saw the whale with a cowboy hat. Oh, there's the horsey. It looks like Texas. I'm so pissed that exists. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the Kama- Wait, was that- Does that say Kamagoon? The Kamagoon? No, that does That does say Kamagoon. Grizzly. What? Tell me in the Black Sea that does not say Kamagoon, dude. Hey, I, I didn't make this. Captain Rose did. You are Captain- I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> Faint. <laughs> Let's see. Have we been to everywhere? The one that, yep, 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 yep. Just a few things here. Some of these, like, locations that you see are not actually on the one your characters see. So let me, let me, let me, let me send another screenshot that X's out the ones that you don't actually see. Do we not see the Kamagoon? Tell me we see the Kamagoon. You see the Kamagoon. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah! Oh, does that say the Kamagoon? <laughs> Just timeline wise, some of these wouldn't exist yet. Oh, I like the yeah, I get you. So it's probably not labeled the Black Sea, huh? No, 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 no. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be labeled a Black Sea. I didn't think of those details. No, it's okay. You would have had to get to like it's totally cool. Let me just say, if we're trying to triangulate between Onua Country, Crescent Chain, and the It's the Kamagoon. I mean the Kamagoon. There, it's like the Kamagoon is there. That's the Black Sea. Or the black the hole. That's the hole. That's the White Sea, man. <laughs> That's the White Sea. Where black runs white, dude. Holy shit. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm so sorry you gave this incredible artwork and we just immediately focused yeah, on the We're Kamagoon. on Kamagoon. There's no getting off That's of Kamagoon. That's kind of the intention. Like, mm. not even mad. I intended for that. You intended for Kamagoon to be, like, the focus? Yeah. <laughs> You've thought of everything. So what your character see, I'm going to describe this for audio listeners, um, since they don't get to see it until they go on Patreon or something. You guys see a sepia colored map. Um, this is not traditionally your kind of like rectangle. It's more uh, cut into a one, two, three, four, five hexagonal shape. <laughs> 
Um, you see the North Sea, the, Vir the Viridis Sea, uh, the Eastern Sea, call it labeled the Sakura Sea, or the Sakura Ocean. And then there's the Blue Royale to the south, where you guys started your adventure, and then the Horse Sea, somewhere you've never been, that is kind of uh, very well documented. Uh, and what's missing from this map that you guys have been to is the block in the Southern Sea. And there's a bunch of locations you haven't been to in the Northern Sea and in the Eastern one. Uh, but you get the sense that this was finished, or as finished as he could get it, uh, you know, 10 years ago when he left this treasure box behind before they left this island and then the hole in the sea happened. A lot could have changed, but it's pretty safe to say, since islands don't really move, that these are the biggest or most important locations in the entire world. Where are the balls with the letter A on That just, like, signifies the undersea. Like, that's, like, where it is. A, I think, is all port, and then the yeah. other side is the tree. Yeah. And we've talked about, like, where Gillian comes from has always been the northern tip. That's why I always say, when I talk about home, I always say in the top left. We'll say you're all here because the alarm went off. Griffin looks so fucking, like, surprised he did the alarm as well. Jay, you know, from uh, just education, like, one of the most rarest treasures or items in the world is, like, a world map. Because... Not many people sail around and survive that journey. A lot of map stuff uh, that Rabt has is like the collection of a ton of people. And they kind of like monopolize that info. So yeah, if you think back to the to how many world maps you've seen since you started, Lizzie had one and now you have one. And that's kind of it. And you can assume that the government has their own. Does anyone have a conch shell right now? I'm saying this in character. I used mine already today. Your wife is getting your letter, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> you called into twice today, so you have, I think, one more conch shell. Okay, I take the conch shell. I'd like to call Lizzie. Do we even have her on these ones? We do, right? Do we? I don't know, because you fought with each other. I don't know if you linked up. You can call Caspian. I'll call Caspian. Gillian, can I please use that right now? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, I take it. I call Caspian. Roll an arcana check. 20. Not natural. Your conch shell rings like it does, like ha it doesn't get, get sort of, it doesn't struggle with the signal across across the arcane webs here in the Black Sea, but uh, Caspian doesn't pick it up. All right. Can I leave a message? Not with these ones. <laughs> okay. I put it down and I say, they're probably fine. Could be busy. Now I'll go to the other conch shell, the little one. Yes. This one looks like a, uh, uh, like it has a button on the very top that you can click in and it will play back something. I'm like, I'm in it now. I'm here with you. The pyres have been lit, dude. The alarms was, have been yeah, sounded. Yeah, I'm here. You you pulled out a world map. Now I need to know I'm here. If you're looking for another father figure, I can... Wait, what? Are you going to be my father figure now? No, no, no. Griffin's I think that... already doing, like, a really good job. No, Griffin has pushed you off at this point. I mean, like, he's, just, he's on his knees looking at the map on the ground. It's quite large. Like, it could cover a table. God damn, this is fucking... This is rare. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got, I've got this calm shell. I'm gonna play. There's like a message I can play. Everybody, shut up. Everybody, shut up. What? Wait a minute. What? No, just stop. Just stop it. You're scaring me. Stop moving and breathing. Just, just Griffin, just stop doing what you're doing. Griffin, just stop. <laughs> oh my god. God's it. God is it. Fuck. Um, all of them. Gillian, start breathing again. He forgot. He forgot to breathe. He forgot to breathe. Manual. <laughs> Manual breathing. <laughs> Gill Gillian's just shaking his head. <laughs> I, 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 I never stopped because I didn't know if I'd be able to figure out how to start again. <laughs> Gillian, I can't breathe anymore. You have to breathe for me. Play it before I pass out. Okay. I play it. You click <gasps> the cone shell and you immediately hear like the white noise in the background uh, uh, from whatever ambient room noise this was recorded in. And then you hear a voice you haven't heard in so long. Your Captain Rose speak. <sighs> Captain Rose. My final recording log. In the privacy of my quarters aboard the Midnight Rose. Even with the Emperor's gracious accommodations. I can never feel at ease unless I'm sleeping on the sea. Tomorrow... We depart this beautiful country for one last ride. We've celebrated nonstop. <laughs> Made good friends. And drank even better booze. <sighs> but, if you're hearing this, it means we all died. The life of a pirate can be the most free life lived in this ocean world. The only one who will ever truly stand in your way 
It's yourself. <laughs> Told you not to do it. I know, because it's so long. Told you not to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I gave out like a, a minute ago, so like you guys did better than me. I know, I, I, it, no, I turned into a competition at a certain no, point. No, I know. I, like, I, I was looking. I just, I just had to make it longer than Charlie, but like I started I know, to single. I started, no, at the end, I started to feel, you know, when your chest starts to like go in and out, like it's like trying. I, and started, I was like, oh, fuck. I started to tingle. Anyway, continue. Continue. The only one who ever truly stand in your way is yourself. Everything is your responsibility. Your weakness. Your choices, the dreams you chase, and the ones that follow you. Even so, freedom can look so different to every individual. Not every pirate's gonna play fair. I've been prepping for this moment a long time. The day I'd be outmaneuvered. This chance we're leaving behind is to, uh... Help you succeed where I have failed. In return. All I ask is a favor. I thought for a long time that my... Greatest dream... Was to see every corner of the world. But trust me... There is no end to what can be discovered. I thought the legacy of my crew would grow the more places we left our mark. The more we did, the more we would be remembered. Now I fear we'll be remembered for something we didn't do. Anyways, <coughs> I think I should have cared about how my friends would remember me. My family. So, about that favor. If my wife is still alive, tell her. Tell her our child. Her child. I'm sorry. Don't worry about trying to salvage or carry on the legacy of the Black Rose. I want you to do something greater. Do something better. Something different. And then it'll be enough for me that just you remember us. And don't forget be loud, be merry. Be a good pirate. Thanks for coming to look for us. I knew you would. Take care, Chip. And then it ends. They could have meant anybody by that, you know, like anybody. There's a lot of chips around. There's so many chips and like the amount of chips on like any, on the Black Rose Pirates. I mean, what yeah. the scallop? <laughs> God damn. Right. I'm totally gonna sleep after this, so like, let's uh, hit it, you know, like, <laughs> we don't need to dissect all that. No, 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 no. Yeah, not much to think about here. Good night. Pretty, pretty clear. <laughs> <laughs> so funny that Gillian meant it. Just, go, just gets, literally rolls over and goes to bat. Kind of imagining all of this on the main deck. <laughs> I'll just separate, leave. Sounds good. Great stuff. Good day, guys. Good day. Another... <laughs> Day on the ship. All right, guys. So uh, everyone sort of lays down. Who? I mean, who's who's gonna try and like actually get some Z's? And 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 if you're not, please let me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look at the world map for a little bit, probably, but <laughs> I'll probably eventually get some Z's. This is probably like the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like I probably go to bed. Yep. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinting. Imagine Chip probably has a, a like a sleepless night, but functionally, I would I would like to sleep. If functionally, Chip doesn't sleep. He spends the night trying to remember his memories and shit. Oh right, right. Okay, so everybody, go ahead and roll for corruption. What is it again? Wisdom saving throw. Yeah, I knew it was wisdom because I'm bad at it. Twelve. Is twelve okay? You guys get a plus four. Seventeen. Oh, sixteen. Well, I rolled a two, so like seven. So Chip, 
one point, Jay Gillian, you guys are okay. Let's go! Also, Chip, now it's time to make that hollow save. I believe it's an intelligent saving throw. Yes, yes. 22. What are you thinking of to remember the essence of Chip, who Chip is at his very core? Right now, I'm trying to remember everything I can about Price and recontextualizing in this, like with this new information. And why, why do we hate each other? When you start thinking of Price, and you rolled a natural 20 last time and you're trying to remember shit, there is a moment where you see like silhouettes in a memory in a warehouse and you're, you see them murdering someone. And for a split second, it fucking scares you. I see who, I see Price. Do you remember how you had your memory modified? Yes. That's what I'm- To forget this? That's, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. Like I, I'm trying to this remember- This one flash? Oh, so it's a piece of that. Yeah. Oh shit. It scares you for a moment. Like something is very wrong with you. Or like you did something very, very bad. And then you start to think of like, why was he like that? You talked about the Black Rose Pirates a lot as a kid. But he was never a big pirate fan. I can imagine. The next day comes, and it's as brutal as ever. Uh, what would you guys like to spend this day doing? I know Jay wants to identify stuff. Yeah, I've figured out what I want to do with my pistol, by the way. It's just, it's just modular. So, like, I can improve it by adding more pieces and eventually make it a rifle. But right now, it's a pistol. It's like a Nerf gun. It's like a Nerf gun. with. Mod <laughs> I can add, like, a, you know, I can add rifle barrel onto yes, it. Why not? that's sick. That's so cool. 1 through 10 is the hole. 11 through 20 is the scroll. I think you should actually make it one dice harder every time. Like, plus one difficulty. Well, it wouldn't matter because I just rolled an 8, so it's whole day. Uh, it's whole day. It's whole day. Chip, what are you doing? Ooh, stewing? Stewing. I'm stewing. Chip, I, I know you probably have a lot of questions. Um, so if there's any chance that you can find answers, uh, book! <laughs> Swipe the thing, <laughs> open the doorway. D me? I don't, I don't have questions, you know? It's just like... Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, okay. Know, just normal, like, Chibo stuff, you know? Like, going around in here in this old noggin of mine. around in the old noggin. I mean, I'll go in, you know, if, like, you want me to or something. Or whatever. Do you want me to want you to? I. Um, well, I'm gonna uh, here. I'm gonna be in here, and I'll oh, just. Oh, you're leave. going in there? Yeah. Oh, so okay. if anyone yeah, wants to come, I'll like, along, sure. Yeah, I, just, I figured, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. No, yeah, anything, anything for you, buddy. <laughs> Gillian rolled for it. Gillian is opening up the the book called The Dark Parker, Puckered Hole, written by Finn Tide Trader. God knows how long ago. Is this really my destiny? And you feel as soon as you open up the book and you you begin to read, you feel, oh my God, this book is extremely magical. And if I finish this book, I will get a very, very, very positive boon but you have to finish the book and the time limit is a week as you read this i'm gonna close my eyes to become more immersed it has to be a week okay, okay here's the fucking here's fucking here's chapter one chapter one woodworker <laughs> <laughs> Yes! The title got him! Fail! I, I closed the book. I closed the book. I closed the book. You gotta try. You gotta try. You gotta try. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, as soon as I read Woodworker, I knew I was fucked. Okay, okay. Chapter one. Woodworker. Lust on the open sea is an ever-burning flame that can never be doused. Only tamed by the exchange of sweet bodily nectar. It is a flame shared between all, burning like a candle for some, and a romantic disaster for others. I did, ne I did not set out on the world to drink up only half the knowledge and experience it pours to my ass's glass. No, to explore the world with an unbiased mind, I must first explore myself. My first man was a shipwright. His bosom begged to be free from the tight prison that was his button fabric wrapped around his chest. Grizzly, holy shit. My advances were direct. <laughs> a simple offer for pleasure was all it took. We were a hurricane of moisture and tension. Wrestling our trousers off through the nearby woods, leaving my robes and jock straps, his boots and briefs, strung along the branches above our path. 
I traced the grooves of skin outlined by his muscles all the way from his top to his bottom. What the fuck? Thus, my eyes perceived for the first time that dark, puckered hole. <laughs> a, be a beautiful discovery. I was overwhelmed with emotion as if a typhoon. I worked my magic on this anus until I gasped <laughs> for air. <laughs> <laughs> motivated to turn his deep groans into dainty whispers. <laughs> Suddenly, his passion fruit burst in its seed, and like a raging beast of the <laughs> land, he flipped me into vulnerability on my stomach. He had caught his prey, and my fate was tightly sealed. I'm not supposed to hear this! I'm not supposed to hear this! I'm not supposed to hear this! From behind, I was railed. My vision fading from this drug of lustful ecstasy. Dude, this is not the first time you've written stuff like this! It absolutely is. Like your young Farron's quick ability to reload his pistol, the beast shot on my back. <laughs> <laughs> After he came from behind, I was ready to move forward. With full clarity, I caressed his lips, thanked him for our study, and ventured forth to search for a new, dark, puckered, Hole. I have a headache. You did it. <laughs> I th I think that was like only as funny as it was for me because I'm I'm because imagining was, oh. gr no that and because oh. I'm imagining you sitting down and just writing it. <laughs> dude, I actually sat at the top of my staircase and just fucking focused, dude. I focused so hard. My neck actually hurts. Like my neck veins hurt. Like I I I my face is so tight. I feel my veins, dude. Holy fuck! What the fuck? Genuinely demonic lines in what you wrote, dude. <laughs> like actually, actually some some lines sent from hell, like to kill me. I've never felt like my mind had been defiled. That was the hardest thing I've ever done on this podcast was tr like trying to just like actually lock in. Five years ago when I was a wee lad and we were starting Just Roll With It, uh, I don't think my mind really explored the possibilities of potentially getting to the point where we'd be reading gay smut together. In character for a mechanical for a boost. mechanical boost. There has been a shift in our friendship, I think, guys. I turned the page. <laughs> <laughs> I need like 15 minutes for chapter two. No, no, I can't. I can't. Gillian, Gillian's, Gillian, there's no, Gillian's brain cannot hit. Gillian's brain has shattered. He can't, he like doesn't blink for the rest of the day. And he just slowly <laughs> closes the book. That's, that's a lot to read about your grandpa. Thank you for your wisdom. All right, chapter one's done. Congratulations. You have to do the rest within a week. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. How, Jay, how close are we? How close are we? Using your spyglass. You get that. There is uh, today, tomorrow, uh, and and one extra day. So you have three days left. We're gonna zoom to it. I'm not gonna make you read like out loud every single passage. That'd be crazy. Oh, okay. I was actually gonna see if Chip could read it to me instead. <laughs> Bedtime story. <laughs> Just go ahead after you finish the first chapter. Go ahead and give me a Christmas saving throw. That's so fair. That's so fucking fair. I got a 32. <laughs> You didn't actually understand most of the words, man. <laughs> what does it mean? What is a dark puckered hole? <laughs> How does Gillian interpret all that? There's a lot of big words. I think he interprets it as like a metaphorical way of his like grandfather taking knowledge from the land. It's maybe some social stuff. With with a lot of metaphors and a lot of so yeah, like a lot of social customs, I think. It's like he's like, oh, I didn't know land dwellers greeted each other like that. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't learn from that. All right, excellent. You did, you did, you did so well. Magical items, you're spending the day identifying uh -huh. um, ritually with your eye. Uh, that's what your eye lets you do. Very, very cool. First thing, that bag, you can go ahead and add something called bullet roulette to your inventory. Bullet roulette. I'm interested. I'm interested. Once you identify it, you realize that you have to think about pulling a bullet from this bag in order for it to work. Weep. Oh, Weep. that's so Weep. cool. Oh, there's a lot of bullets in here. Yeah, maybe don't read them all right now. Oh, it's like a different one each time. Okay, that's sick, that's sick. Chip got a magical glass that you identify next uh, called the Everfull Glass, so Chip, you can add that to your inventory. A magical glass called the Everfull Glass. I have two rings, a cloak, a black tablecloth, 
And that was I already can't get rid of the bag. Okay, I'm good. So ever full glass chip. Essentially, you can magically fill that shit with whiskey, fine wine, HL, whatever you want. Um, it has to be alcohol. Three times per day as an action, you can drink from it. 15 temporary hit points and immune to being frightened for one minute. Shame the alcohol doesn't like work on you anymore. Though. You can still drink from a glass though. Damn. The black tablecloth. That, Charlie's gonna love this one. That is a portable hole. Portable hole. I, I, I shudder. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the dark puckered hole. Hey, Gillian here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> flinch away. Next one is I have a cloak. Uh, you can add shift weave to your inventory. Uh, and I have two rings left. Okay, one of the rings is a ring of swimming. I take that. You don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the other one? You have a ring of shared suffering, but you only have one. And it's missing its counterpart. I put it on. Do I feel pain? No. Okay. Good. I was wondering if maybe the person, on. uh, maybe they're just thinking perpetual pain. No, they probably just got a ring from their grandma and you're going to get shot one day and then they'll die. <laughs> Unless you guys want to do anything else, we're just going to travel. <sighs> one through 10 is, uh, is, is whole. 11 through 20 is scroll. Thank God. Today I'm reading scroll. You're going to reset your progress. So if you... Oh, wait, I have to read the whole, I have to read whole in a week, don't I? Yeah. How many chapters are in whole? What? One chapter. <laughs> Enough, I'm sure. <laughs> a lot. What a what an ominous answer. <laughs> I'm saying about like 30? 30, 30 chapters? Is that a lot? He got one chapter in a day. Oh my god. Well, no, he only read one chapter out loud. He might have gotten further. When the rest of the crew has gone to bed, I go to the study. I found the I find the darkest, messiest corner. I carve out a nook for myself. I uh, take little little clips and clip my eyes open so that I can't I can't look away and I have one. I, I have the axolotls hold me down. <laughs> one of them turns the pages. For the sake of knowledge! So I'm forced to read my grandfather's greatest work and his greatest conquests. Dark puckered hall. I just need three wisdom saving throws for corruption. This is this part. This part's easy. Do you get plus four? No, you don't because I'm in the. Oh, fuck. I specified that I was in the book nook. I'm sorry. Unless you're in the book nook um, with me. I went in with you. I don't. I, I sleep. You much. wouldn't want to be within 10 feet of me right now, but maybe on that night I do. You can, you can, you totally can be. I'm just reading Dark Puckered Hole. I'll probably take a look over. Hey, Gillian, what are you reading? And then um, a little more of my skin falls off and some and my eye falls out and I'm forever changed. And yet, I look back at you more haunted than you've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my background to haunted one. I'm going to go ahead and make a charisma save. Are you just focused on the dark puckered hole, so not the scroll? Yeah, I'm focused on the dark puckered hole. Yeah, then go ahead and make three charisma saves. Okay, first one's a 29. Second one's a 28. Third one's a 32. Jesus fucking Christ. I rolled, I rolled like a 18, 16, 19. That's ridiculous. Because you're really good at like reading <laughs> case mud. Yeah, it's crazy. Thanks, guys. I, you should uh, do this for a living. Glad these rolls didn't happen in this in the big spider fight that like was a really climactic moment. Yeah, that would have that would have sucked. In the three days, you get more than halfway through the book. For the first night, Jay, you take a point of corruption. Yeah. So I need you guys to roll two more wisdom saving throws. We know that there is the buff from being around Gillian, right? That it's better? I feel like you would. Yeah. Like, there's no way you would If we right? know that, then I will always do it around Gillian, because it doesn't make sense not to. Holy shit, natural 20! What the fuck, guys? I'm popping off today on all these rolls. This is crazy. Second one is in fact... Uh-oh, guys. It's a 15. The dark puckered hole <laughs> corrupts me. You read something especially dark and puckered. I would suggest Gillian to cast use all the spells on restoration on the crew in this time. I could also be doing that um, yeah, I, if I Gillian's think, too focused on other things. I think we could just have that, we could just say like, you guys do that. So I can get off, um, unfortunate phrasing, uh, I can <laughs> cast 10 a lot, I can do 11 a day, that's nuts. I can do 10 total. If we are casting these constantly, we can keep ourselves at zero, right? Like We can, but like, we also need to save slots for other things. On the day after the third night, you can't do it, because then you'll be out of resources for the whole day, and that's the day you're supposed to arrive. But if you guys are doing, you have that many amount of points, I'd say... We can probably clear everybody off. So why don't we clear everyone off until the day we're arriving, and then we'll just, we can just, like, live with whatever happens. So if any of us failed to save on, on the day of our arrival, or any of the crew did, we're, we're gonna have those points, but... Jay and I will go around, uh, tapping people and the shooting store. out a light and the store. I don't think the restoration works on me, right? Restore- Nope. Sorry. You'll need to find a professional. Restore! 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 Restore. 
Oh, it's start. just you again, Chip. Sorry, uh, can't Chip. help with that. Ow. Chip, you do have one. Do I, and I get another no. one? So I have two now, total. Yeah. Is this okay, by the way, that we're just kind of like spamming lesser restoration when we travel? Like, is that- <laughs> You cleared the corruption? It's good. You need to survive here somehow. Otherwise, what? Do you want to die? No, I don't know. Okay. I'm sorry, DM. I'm sorry, DM. I'm sorry, DM. Intelligence saving throws, Chip. Three of them. Okay. Um, that's a 16. 19. Natural 20. You are good for these three nights. However, on the last night, before the day you guys are supposed to arrive at this stronghold destination, as you're laying there, and you're inside the library tome, and it should be only accessible through that door, there is a... a dash of shadow that startles you to the point where you sit up, like something was around you, watching. And then it ran past you and disappeared. I see where it was going? No, not here. It's like when you're laying down in the middle of the night, and you think you see something in a dark corner. So the hat man. Skin man. Don't think it, don't say it. On the day of, uh, as soon as you're all up and you exit the library for the morning, you look out onto the horizon, Jay, and see, and also sort of smell like you would when a storm is coming, but you look up and, and you can see the three routes of the Black Sea today are, are all different with different like dangers. On, on, on going straight ahead, you see a like field of these serrated tentacles lashing out and sticking out from the water. Nope. Uh, that's on the path you're going right now. It's straight ahead, the shortest path. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Off to like the right, where you kind of go around that to try and get it from a different angle, you see that that's the these like black clouds with some sort of like low, dim purple glow in them and the rumbling of thunder. I swear to fucking God, if I got struck by lightning, we weren't fucking done. <laughs> on the left, going around the other side, it looks seemingly calm. But it's super out of the way. Yeah. Um. Do the tentacles look like they're like wildly flailing about, like without thought, or could they be connected to a creature with with higher thought that could crush us in a million pieces? It looks like they are just sort of wildly lashing mm. around, snapping and. and <laughs> so, how's it looking, Navigator? All clear skies, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> you get zapped by lightning. <laughs> well, so, okay, so let's look at our options. Um, to the left, we've got thunderous skies. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound too good. All right, all right. Uh, straight ahead, we've got tentacles. <laughs> what? Like how many? A lot. Very big. Very, like they could crush us and destroy us. And to the right, nothing. Um, but. I don't trust that. That doesn't. I also don't trust that. Yeah, actually, somehow nothing seems worse than like going into something that we know. Okay, I feel the calmest. The calmest waters are before the harshest storms. So I think instead we should go directly into the tentacles. Gillian, do you still have the reduce spell? I wonder if we could like sharply navigate our our ship. If it was smaller. Um, I mean, I don't know that I do, but even if I did, um, it only reduced the ship. It would only reduce the you. ship. <laughs> Dang, I got a level with you. I think if we sail directly into big tentacles, it will elicit a trauma response within me. You already recognize them from this distance. Oh, no. Oh, so it's low. Okay. So I'm going to have to uh, advise against the tentacles if you do not wish to trigger my fight or flight response. Completely fair. This is my same feeling about the thunderclouds. I genuinely think <laughs> if I'm struck with lightning one more time, I will either be fully immune to it or I will die instantly and my heart will give out due to the immense amount of constant voltage it receives from the environment. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. But that only leaves the worst option. Which is nothing. Which is something. Which has to be something. Yeah. But think about it this way, right? Like, like imagine like somebody offers you like a hundred dollars or like, you know, a free sword or a mystery box. I'm going for the mystery box. I'd say, I don't make deals with your kind and I'd attack them. You don't even know what kind. It's not- How do I know that the mystery box isn't some sort of soul binding contract? You'll never know is the problem. Yeah. Is, is you'll go to sleep tonight. And you'll think, oh man, what was in those calm waters? No, I think I'll be thinking about Dark Buckered Hole. <laughs> you gotta stop reading that book. It's it's getting to be a lot, Gillian. I vote for the nothing. Okay, you know what? I vote for nothing too. That is to say that my vote is for the path with nothing, not that I'm not voting. It's like a little bit out of the ways as well. I mean, but 
What's the worst that could happen? Why did you say that? <laughs> well, it's because we're in a fictional story, and every, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so can, it's sort of like... Zooms in full fisheye on Gillian as my eyes go slightly farther and farther apart. It's like a trope to do that before something bad happens. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you guys head uh, towards the seemingly what? calm waters. Wait, seemingly? You're navigating, correct, Jay? Yeah. Go ahead and make an intelligence saving throw and a survival check today. Um, is Gillian close enough to me during these trials and tribulations? Yeah, if you want do you, me there. Do you attach to my hip? Yeah, sure. I take, like, chains and wrap them around both of us and, like, bend them, fuse them together. 18 with you. I'm helping. I'm, like, dis I'm like, distracted by, like, a fucking bat. And I will, I'm gonna call my Flash of Genius beforehand here and use it on the survival check. Uh, natural one. <laughs> so 12 total. Uh, you guys sail through the seemingly calm waters, and you do so for the entirety of the morning. And, you know, your crew, Igneous and Griffin, are paddling. Queen's now helping. Earl's helping. He's getting that shake workout in. Um, they're all helping, so you're going a little faster, but you kind of assume, just based on your knowledge with the spyglass, uh, the map that you have, uh, this is going to take a little longer. It takes even longer than you expected. And the morning goes by, the afternoon, evening, and the sun is starting to set, and you guys still haven't found the stronghold. I don't know, man. What if it's like an infinite hallway situation? I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, not again. What would you like to do, navigator? How long was I expecting it to take if we had just went straight? Probably should have got there around the afternoon. And we went the long way around, and it's now nighttime. Before I make the decision, can I cast detect magic? You can cast detect magic, yeah. Yeah. Do I do I notice anything around here? Like any any oddities, any arcana? It's a 30-foot sphere on you. So, no, you do not. Other than, like, your magical items and weapons and stuff. Something is weird. We should have been there, like, a bit ago. Maybe the math was off. No, no, no. The math is, is sound. And I pull up a piece of paper and it says 4 times 4 is 16. It's right. It's correct. I mean... No, it's 4. What? It's 4. <laughs> you only really have a few options. You can keep sailing, you can stop, or you can turn around and go a different direction. Do I see... The bullshit that was happening to the north. No, no, no. So like at night, yeah, like at nighttime here in the Black Sea, there's it's like so dark. Only light you guys have is really what you produce. It's your call. I'm gonna say this darkness is reminding me of something. And I read dark <laughs> book at all. I'm going to ask the spyglass some questions. I'm already assuming you. I use it to help navigate. Uh, that's totally fair. Or I just like. Didn't because I rolled a natural one, <laughs> but you know, up to you. I'll just give you two. Then I'm gonna ask disc distance to the stronghold and distance from where we started the day. You traveled almost an entire day's worth. So it's not as if we haven't been moving. You get the sense just looking through it that you're almost there. Actually, you get the sense that you should be there right now. What the f scallop? Let's. Pull up the rose for the night and stay here. Something's weird. Well, which direction is it? Yeah. Are, are, are we there yet? We're basically on top of it right now. I look down. Wait, that's not how that works. <laughs> uh, well, it didn't sink, did it? Oh, it might be how it works. I don't know. I mean, how did how would a stronghold sink? I mean, it's called raft. It would be pretty embarrassing. That would be. If it, do you want me to check, or is that... Fucking crazy. No, not in the not in the ocean, no. Does it hurt you to be in there? I can't remember. It's actually one of the probably the most surefire ways for Gillian to get corrupted. I think he got really lucky, like rolled really well last time. Yeah, yeah, but it was scary. Jay, you remember, uh, just from your knowledge, all these strongholds are also known as Iron Islands. So they're massive and it's sinking would be insane. It definitely didn't sink. Oh, uh, rock test! I pick up a rock and I throw it as hard as I can in a random direction. Throw it in front of us. That way. I point. I throw it in front of us as hard as I can. What happens to the rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, roll strength check. Uh, 14. I look up. Yeah, you look up. Roll perception uh, with disadvantage check because uh, it's really, really fucking dark. 22. Dude, you just make up shit, man. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you say you look up? I feel like... Oh, I wasn't blood in the bayou. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just thinking about bad Dude. things happening when you look up. <laughs> Dude, I'll never forget that moment. I feel like you're holding that against me until the end of time. An asteroid needs to be, like, hurtling towards me right now, Grizzly. <laughs> yeah, fucking, if you haven't seen the goddamn blood in the bayou, everybody go listen. So, Gillian, you throw a rock as hard as you can. It disappears in the darkness, and then you hear... As soon as you throw it, it hits something and it starts screeching. Uh, and then you hear 
as it starts to fly towards where you are, and then it emerges into the light that's kind of uh, casted off of your ship just from whatever, like, uh, glowing lanterns or torches. And you see, like, this fucking, like, a, the, the the face of a, of a man, but his his eyes are, like, sewn shut, and his, his mouth is, 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 like, broken open, and his, his limbs have been sort of knotted and twisted and gnarled into this weird fucking, almost, like, worm-like body, but he has these wings that are made out of bones, uh, and it's stripped and connected by this black acre. <laughs> You are speaking too casually about this abomination. Guys, even even I know when to say fuck it. And it flies towards you, and it's high enough. It's right above the mass of your sails, and as soon as it fucking does, as you look up, Chip, you hear... <laughs> and then from above you, this fucking uh, a burst of this almost like a lightning charge. It's pure arcane energy comes out, <laughs> strikes this creature, <laughs> disintegrates into dust, uh, and you can't... With a 22, you can't see any formations, but you see like a mirage after that uh, explosion of arcane energy. We in a test tube. What does that mean? What are you looking at? <laughs> I mean, we in the simulation. I don't know. We a weird experiment. <laughs> That's what we're going to do in session. Oh, <laughs> shit. We're in, a, we're in a test tube. <laughs> hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, I just want to quickly thank our $50 patrons, such as GBS Child, Semicolon Semicolon, Deja Vu, Kepsu Bo, Jared W.I. Hater, Zephyr Nova, Stinky Man, High in Potassium, Wildstar 00, Shtum Yums, That One Furry, I'm Just a Bird, Cranky Martin, Ryan Jocelyn, Lightning Deathbringer, that rare John, Twee Buffles, Mateen, Scoot Moore's Dooge, Skiet Fontaine, Jesus Bry, unless it's Albert, William B. Wumbo, Insomnia Draws, Kelly the Raccoon, Agar Steeljaw, Insomnia, Lim Muncher, Mr. Anderson 1078, Me Phobia Man, Aaron Moment, Water Lenny, Alistair Susie, Broderick Motif, Final Fan, Fallow, 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 you guys are making me work today. <laughs> Fallow Ash. Certified cringe fail loser boy. To be determined, the DD group. That one person. EMT3. Erica Moon. Kojo Woe. Mr. C. Gublek Whisperer. Nova Sync. Teeny Ghosts. It's C Fresh. Me Forever Mate. It's the Stress Ch Dude. Serizaku. Charlie Darling Songbird. Aqua the Kaizoku. Uh, microwave with a Hat. Bazozo. Cadus Betis. Titan Storm. Luke Rombu. Lemon Leviathan. Ruth the Banana Duck. Unstable Chaotic Cracker. Bran Yan. Daxi Boy. Vapor. Colin the Bard, I'm Butt Flustering, Beans, Pupper in a Spacesuit, Jades 2604, Pippin the Paladin, Sweet Cacti, Baca 7, Pals the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Chilean Vibe Strider, Man Made Imp, Jordan Darling, I'm in Your Walls, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, Ting Gus Ping Gus, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Bosco, Captain Lafayette, and crew. Narwhal Shellfish, Crobins, Deathclaw, Glorbeck, Eater Worlds, Big Blue Bear Boy, Elvish Cyborg, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Silvsoul, Jason the Fricker, You Know E. Loon, Quotier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu, Nonzalotl, Funny Hats Incorporated, Jared W.I. Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. And again, if you haven't picked up the new Blood in the Bayou shirt, go do that now, because th th that shit's awesome. Again, it's going to be gone forever. Okay, bye.